Hey, what is up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on basic navigation and modeling in the program Rhino. So opening up Rhino 6, you can see that we have four different viewports. We have the perspective viewport, the top viewport, the front viewport, and the right viewport. So these viewports allow you to see different sides of a three-dimensional object. And when you're drawing, you can see exactly what one side of your model looks like. So first I'm going to be talking about panning and orbiting around your 3D perspective drawing. You can expand your viewport by double clicking on the word in the corner in the window. By holding and dragging your right click, you can pan throughout model space. And by holding shift and right holding your right click, you can also pan like this. I'm going to double click this again and go back to your regular four window viewport. I just want to take a moment to talk a little bit about grid and snap. So your grid, if you type in grid, will allow you to change the interval of the grid spacing in your model. So I want to look at the options and see what grid property I want. So I want to change the major line interval to 10 maybe and I want to change the minor line spacing to 5. So notice how I changed it so that it's less dense. This makes it a bit easier for me to see. Before I forget I should also mention that these units I'm drawing in are millimeters by standard. So if you check down here, this says millimeters. If I want to change my units, you type in units. Oh, escape first, units. And then you look at your model units. So if you want to go in imperial, then you can also draw in inches and press OK. So now I'm going to be drawing in inches. To begin drawing, you can go select a polyline. And that's just a line tool that will help you draw. So I'm just going to draw a closed curve like that. And if you if you want to just close it, you can type in C and enter. So now I have a closed curve. Um, next thing I want to do is to make this into a 3D object. So what I want to do is type in the command extrude curve, press enter, and then it'll pull up my object like this. So in this view, it's kind of difficult to see it as a line drawing. So I'm going to double click how the model looks and I'm going to go click ghosted. You can play around with these different views when you have time. Type in ghosted and then it shows that when I'm pulling this object up, I'm going to click here. This is a solid object. Notice how notice how if I go into a rendered form that this is a solid block. So go back to the ghosted view. I'm just going to delete this. Another thing you can do is when you type in extrude curve, if you don't want it to be a solid and you just want to extrude the, the, the lines, then you can go up here change this from solid to yes to no and then now you have that. So for the demonstration purposes of this tutorial I'm going to extrude and draw a object. So solid yes. Alright so now you have your first object in your model space and next thing I'm going to be doing is talking about the gumball tool. So notice how this little uh, three three D arrow pops up. This is an extremely powerful tool in Rhino because it allows you to easily navigate through your space a lot easier, and you can do it in every single viewport. So if Gumball isn't on when you first open Rhino, you can type in Gumball, and then you want it to keep it on, and then but there's also the option to turn it off. So what I can do with this is I can 
select one of the arrows, hold my left click, and I can drag it in three-dimensional space. Now notice how this is all updating in real time for all the viewports. This makes it really easy to see where in your space in relation to your other objects your model is. So I'm going to put this over here. Maybe I want to copy it. Type in copy. Put one over here. Maybe I'll put one over here. Okay, and maybe I'll mirror this. Type in mirror and mirror it like that. Okay, so now I have something like this. Gumball is a really useful tool because I can use this in every single space. And if I want to bump this up just a little bit, too much, maybe a little bit like that then that's what that looks like. A really handy tool you can use when you are modeling is called Boolean Union and Boolean Difference. So Boolean Union allows you to join two or more objects together and Boolean Difference allows you to subtract an object using one or more objects. So let's see this in play. Type in Boolean Union. Let's join these three, press enter and then these three pieces are now one object. I join them together and you can't separate them. So if I want to say subtract these gaps from the object, I can type in Boolean difference. So I'm going to subtract I'm going to subtract this one from this one and now I shave that part off. And now I have some funky shapes, just play around with it. But that's more or less the end of this tutorial. So that's all there is for this week. If you guys found some value in this video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up because I would really appreciate it. If you guys are looking for more videos like this, you can check out my AutoCAD tutorial video. I'll be posting here every single week, so feel free to subscribe. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.